this is Ivan and Gyrtle from Enslave. I'm very interested. Do you know uh, how the sheep's doing? I think that's been uh, distributed to, you know, like uh, into uh, Christmas dinners like a couple of years ago. <laughs> It's uh, actually two years since we did the stunt, so... Yeah. You think it's that? I think it's no more. Okay. It's been eaten. The spirit lives on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. It was a very nice action of you guys. Yeah, it was yeah. cool. It's a nice day in the mountains. Yeah. I was watching it. How, uh, how long, actually, um, did you take to catch it? We didn't catch it. <laughs> no? No, of course not. I mean, uh, have you ever tried to catch a sheep in the mountain? No, I... It's, it's, it's impossible. No, I come it from is. Berlin, Germany. It's a big city, so mm. there, there are no sheep in my... Exactly. It's quite impossible to catch when they get loose. So this, this one was... Uh, they have four legs, you only have two. You know, so. <laughs> yeah. We had to, to cheat a little bit. Okay. So, Not uh, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the farmer was hidden behind a stone. Yeah. He was holding a sheep and he just released it for a few meters and then he caught it. Ah, all right. So secrets coming out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. been out for years actually. <laughs> yeah. um, what are your favorite drinks? Drinks? Drinks, yeah. In Germany, we prefer beer. German beer is awesome. Uh, well, I like German beer. I like southern yeah. German beer. Southern German yeah. beer. Yeah, right. Bavarian beer. Yeah. Bavarian Weiss beer. Is there um, is there any good beer in, Nor in yeah. Norway too? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Good good Pilsner and uh, pretty good ale too, actually. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. And we like uh, cognac a lot. Oh yeah. That's nice. It's, I guess it's us and the hip hop people who like cognac. But okay. It's like slave it. and the hip hop. But people. it's not typical Norwegian. Well, actually, it's very popular in Norway. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very strong, and Norwegians like to get really drunk. Okay. So it's actually uh, the cognac is a, it's a bigger thing than whiskey in Norway. Yeah, whiskey is good too. Good malt whiskey is good. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Like a really harsh malt whiskey. Do you get Ilay it? whiskey. I think beer is on top of my list. If I have to say one drink. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Is there any uh, drink here you like best? Or yeah. As he said, uh, Hefeweizen. Hefeweizen. Yeah, it's really good. good. The Weiss, German white spirit is yeah. really good. Uh, if you're really thirsty, uh, a cold back, backs can be good. Yeah, and uh, Ratzeputz. Ratzeputz. Oh yeah, oh, great. great. Fantastic. Great. But only one. Yeah, <laughs> not more. <laughs> not, not five. I've, I've done five a couple of times. And I don't know how the catering is on here in Bakken. I, don't, I, I hope that they don't have it actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I really hope. Okay, so let's talk about your uh, current album, Vertebrae. Um, I like it a lot, but um, I wondered why your trademark guitar sound changed. Yeah, it's a good question. It's um, <clears throat> it wasn't a, a conscious decision to change anything. It was because I think the, f the question that started to pull us in that direction was how can we get more of the thing that we portray live onto album because we're really happy with the live sound of the band and we wanted to get something closer to that on the album also and a lot of the times in the studio we have been working on theory of addition using more and more guitars and bigger and bigger things and finally I think we came to a point where we wanted to go the other way and strip away things and really show the band how it is you know also the, the old school production philosophy of you sit with the good stereo, there's one guitar there, there's one there, bass, drums, vocals, keyboards in the middle, and that's all you need. One word, organic. Yeah. Organic, yeah, that's what it is. But, or, orga um, orgasmic. <laughs> orgasmic. <laughs> Great. I've seen you guys live after uh, you released Rune, and um, it was like, it was the same sound like on the album, but it was with a uh, live feeling. Yeah. So, I don't know, that's like a change too for me. Because um, I've had, I didn't have this experience um, when I first listened to Vatry that it was uh, your live sound captured on CD, but the other way around. It was a totally new sound for Enslaved. Mm, yeah, it's, it's maybe not the sound itself, but the philosophy of you know of the simplicity I think that's uh, captured on the album. Um, the development I think came because we started to play a lot more live after the East album, so we, we put a lot more thought into. I think how the instrument sounded. Okay. How are you getting along with all the clean vocals? Oh, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they like to do it. It's oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who does it? Herbon, you? Both, actually. Both. Yeah. And you? Any clean vocals? Uh, just 10 seconds live on some parts. Oh, okay. So it's not it's not totally Beach Boys yet, but 
maybe someday. The Beach Boys is a good band. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good singers. Oh yeah. Okay. What's your favorite band? Beach Boys. Wow. <laughs> the one favorite band? One favorite band. Then I say Pink Floyd. Okay. Yeah. It's obvious. You. Uh, yeah. One favorite band? That's impossible. But, uh, maybe okay. two, three, ten, one hundred. I don't. Or okay, know. one Rush. Rush. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, so, and what do you think is the best metal band? <laughs> the best metal band? Oh, it's a good question. Apart from Enslaved. That is. Well, apart from Enslaved. Apart from Enslaved. It's a tough question. Uh, there's so many different kinds of uh, metal bands, but it's Opeth's really good these days. If you're thinking about the band that's doing something now. Ah, oh, Bathory. Bathory. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Where do you come from um, now, at the moment? We come directly from uh, Bergen, from where we live. Okay. So we're just going down here, doing the walking show and back home tomorrow. Okay, any more festival shows this summer? Yeah, we're doing uh, two Norwegian festivals. Three. Three Norwegian festivals. And uh, one UK show. Yeah. yeah. And That's about it. And the French one later in October. Yeah. That's about uh, no further tours? Not yet. We, I think we're going to do one more US tour. In January or February, and, and then, then record, record a new album. Yeah, all right. Very looking forward to it. Um, we are too. <laughs> what does the tour bus look on the inside? Do you have any strange antics you do on? Uh, we have while, Kate while being on tour? We have the drummer. Yeah. It's quite strange. Yeah. And yeah. uh, no, we we don't do too many strange things. No? We're pretty. It's, it's cliche. Okay. We either watch video or become really drunk. Okay. All right. Oh, we, like to shop vinyls. Yeah, yeah. collect vinyls. Okay. There's a lot of vinyls around on the bus. So these are your typical tour rituals? Yeah, yeah. eating, sleeping, watching movies, uh, getting drunk, and buy vinyls. Yeah, uh, that's about it actually. If okay. we come to a new town, yeah. we try to find a vinyl shop okay. and see what they have there. We like to go and see historical stuff. We've had some nice trips around Vienna, New York, oh, yeah. every kind of city. Um, look at the buildings and stuff like that and if they have a local brewery or something like that we can go and, uh, and look at the process and taste the beer local yeah, local food local food yeah. We're we had haggis in scotland it was pretty interesting ah, okay. pretty good lamb in barcelona yeah 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 next, Saus sausage in, in germany, germany yeah. yeah the next time you're in berlin you can visit uh, the brewery in my home home place oh really oh, what's yeah. it called it's called berliner burger boy Oh, good boy. Okay. Good boy. Yeah. We went to this yeah. cool restaurant in Berlin uh, last uh, time. It was called Der Alte Fritz. Yeah. And we had like a, a dish called Eisbein. Yeah. No, there, Whoa. Are, there are actually hundreds of uh, bars and restaurants in Berlin that's yeah. called. Uh, it was called in Berlin. Alte it was called Putenfleisch. Putenschnitzel. Putenfleisch. Yeah, that's Turkey. Uh, not, 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 so, not exactly the same, but uh, no. like Turkey. Yeah. Not Turkey. It was not Turkey. It was no? pork. Pork. Oh. No, but pork is uh, Schwein in Germany. Yeah, Schwein. What's Putin? Putin is, yeah, like turkey. It's a bit, oh, uh, oh it's a, uh, that was something. Oh, well, it, it was it was icebine, but it was not called icebine in Berlin. No, ice icebine is uh, from pork. I can't oh, believe yeah. you're discussing icebine. Okay. <laughs> well, Never mind. Well, it's typical Berlin food. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Okay. Thank you very much. You didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs>